Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, my name is Jade and if you are returning and clicking on the video, I just want to say thank you so much. I can't believe it guys, we are two weeks out from my first bikini competition of the year and yeah, I don't even know where this time has gone because if you've been on this journey with me, I think we're on video 11 now of this prep. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. So yeah, I can't believe we're only two weeks out. I actually leave for India next week, which is so incredible. So yeah, I'm just so excited to be bringing you on this journey with me and to give you this like two week out update because let me tell you, the last two weeks, things have changed so much. Like everything has changed. My diet has changed, my cardio has changed. And I kind of gave you these updates in the last video. If you haven't watched it, there was like updates starting to happen and changes starting to happen, but like it is real now. So anyways, before we start off the video and before I give you all the updates, which I'm gonna do in this video and also bring you guys through a workout, I do have some really exciting news. So if you follow me on Instagram, I announced that I'm gonna have a retreat here in Bali in October. And I'm so excited just because it gets, it means I get to meet you guys and it's gonna be a health and wellness retreat for one week of workouts, healthy eating from the meal prep company and stuff that I've been using for this whole prep, going to the gym, going to like waterfalls. There's gonna be like sister circles and like spiritual healing. And it's gonna be like eat, pray, love meets fitness with you guys. And like I said, it's one week in October. So if you're feeling like the soul calling of like coming on this retreat and spending a week with me in the most gorgeous villa ever, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to join. There's six places left and there's 10 spots in total. So yeah, if you're feeling the call, I just had to announce this at the start of the video because I kind of teased it at the end of the last one and then I didn't actually tell you what my exciting news was. So excited for that and so excited to meet some of you guys if you are feeling the call. But with that being said, if you're excited for today's video guys, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe because we're two weeks out and we are a go time. Nothing work, can you hear it? It never ends. <sighs> Anyways, side note, I got these fresh kicks, perks of having baby feet, children's shoes, but I'm the kind of person that when I get new shoes, I don't wear them for so long. Like I just keep them fresh forever. What? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get new shoes. I'll show you the sensors. I get new shoes and I don't wear them. I just look at them and I look how nice and clean they are because I know once I wear them and I'm like driving around Bali on my motorbike, like skirt, skirt, they're never going to be fresh. So I just keep them fresh. Fresh, fresh kicks. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting ready for work today and I have like a bunch of clients. I don't know how I'm doing it. No, I do know how I'm doing it. I'm going to tell you because everyone keeps on saying to me like, Jade, how have you got so much energy and you're two weeks out from a competition and like you're still like super cray cray. And I'll tell you why. One, it's because I've had so many carbs. I am a human carb at this point. And two, I just feel great. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful. And it's just that reminder that like when you are doing the diet or you're doing anything that requires sacrifice or that's so bad, do not do that. Um, when you're doing anything that like requires sacrifice or like, I don't know, people complain about like choices that they're making. And it's like, why would I complain about a prep when I'm choosing to do it? You know what I mean? And I get we're all human and we have moments where we're like, oh. but like, I'm so grateful. It's like, it's a privilege, it's a privilege. So yeah super high vibe, but also like so filled with carbs. I don't know what to do with myself. I have so much energy. I'm just like sort of like running around. So yeah, I've got a bunch of clients. We're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna train, mm, and we're gonna have an amazing day and I need to give you all these updates. But first, we gotta go downstairs and get ready. And turn off the air con before body parts. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Fresh shoes. <laughs> they still have the tag on them. <laughs> I'm the worst. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Is anyone else the same? Look, I got a sunflower tattoo. Oh, Ooh. it's a sunflower. It's a sunflower. I'm a sunflower. Sunflowers are so cool. You wanna know why? Because they grow towards the sun, yeah, and they grow tall and stand proud. And that's just your reminder to be a sunflower. Always look towards the sun go towards the light bloom and they just make some flowers make so many like, 
tell me someone who doesn't love them, okay? It's be a sunflower. No. Anyways, what my exciting news was is I have exciting news. I have so much exciting news in this video, honestly. It just it just keeps on getting better and better. Here we go. This is a little pluggy plug, so by you, please put my plug plug on the screen. You know that code J10, that thing. Cotton candy flavored oxy shred. Are you kidding me? Like, are you? <laughs> the reason it's not opened is because, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Leo just tried to like swerve by you. It came out in the fizzy drink cans, which have mm. no fat, like no sugar, nothing. So I've been <laughs> getting shreddy. Well, maybe this is why I have so much energy. And I also, I'm not hungry or anything like that because like, yo, I'm drinking cotton candy. But then it also comes in like the normal version. And then it also comes in a pre-workout. The reason I also haven't opened the cotton candy one is because I'm still having the old limited edition rainbow candy, which you can't get, which is why anytime there's like a flavor, like the cotton candy or something that's limited edition, I always get on it because they're so good. And then I also really like this gummy snake one. If you can't tell, I really like sweet flavored things, but I do think things like this help so much on prep because like, I don't crave sweets or cake or random things like that because I'm having like sweet things during the day. So it's like, you only crave something maybe when you lack it, right? And then you get a bit obsessed with it and fixate on it. But like, I'm not fixated or obsessed with food. I have zero food focus. Like I'm not actually craving anything. I don't want anything. People keep on asking me what I want post show. And I'm like, oh, there's a Nando's in India. So like chicken and rice from Nando's, I don't know. I'm so weird, but I think it's because I'm having like sweet things. And then I have like my oats, which I put like stevia in and stuff. So that's sweet as well. And yeah, I just generally am not obsessed with food because I'm not hungry and I enjoy eating healthy. And so yeah, if you are someone who struggles a little bit with sweet cravings, things like this, it will help. It will help. It's like, ultimately it's your mindset, right? And you have to want to eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle, but we're all human and we get sweet cravings, but these definitely help with mine. Leo is in mood on prep. This is post carbs. Leo is in a carb coma. You has had 700 grams of rice. <laughs> so, I am gonna head to the gym. Like I said, I've got clients and I've got work um, this morning and this afternoon and all the times, but I love it. And <laughs> in the mornings when I'm doing like cardio or anything, I always respond to like online clients. But the thing is, my cardio got taken down to 20 minutes. Well, 100 calories, which is about 15 or 20 minutes. And I was doing like an hour in the morning. So that hour was like a super productive power hour for me where I would like catch up on YouTube videos, message friends, message all my online clients back. Now I've got 20 minutes. I don't even have time to watch a YouTube video because I spend that 20 minutes res like responding to client check-ins and then it's like over. So yeah, that's the first update that my cardio is basically gone. And that is because I spoke about like in my last video that I was basically ready. And so now we're just trying to maintain it. And if I'm ready and I continue doing cardio, I'm gonna keep on dropping weight. And the funny thing is, and what's really hard to explain to people is like the leaner you get, the, the more your body starts burning through food, which is why you have to have refeeds and like feed into the show and stuff. Whereas like this whole prep, I had zero refeeds, no carb increases, no food increases, no breaks, nothing. It was literally just straight prep, straight diet the whole time. But basically I dropped weight and then I had my little refeed of rice in the last video. And then my weight maintained for a couple of days and then it dropped. So then my carbs got increased again. And my coach was like, eat 450 grams of rice. So we did and my weight dropped. <laughs> so it was like, okay, eat 600 grams of rice. And then we added coconut oil and almond butter and my weight dropped again. And then it was like eat 700 grams of rice. So when I say that every single day this week, I've been eating between 450 and 700 grams of rice on top of my normal diet, like 
there's been so much carbs thank god i live in indonesia where rice is abundantly available and grown everywhere and you can just like rock up to the side of the street and get like a pack of rice for like i think it's like two people like two cents or something like that crazy crazy monies um so yeah it's been a crazy week honestly like i've just been an eating machine and i put all my clients in for pt before finding out I was gonna be eating all this food. Yo, I don't even have time to eat all this food because I've got clients and it's just been so funny and like the opposite of what you think a bikini prep is. And like I was saying, everyone's like, oh my God, are you okay? Like you're two weeks out, you must be starving. And I'm like, starving? Are you joking? I can't stop eating. Um, so for that, I'm like, is that even a song? But yeah. I'm like feeling lean, my body stopped dropping weight. I finally just sort of, yesterday I had a big one. I had 700 grams of carbs, not 700 grams of carbs, 700 grams of rice. And this morning my weight didn't drop. So it's obviously worked and that's good. So today he's given me 500 grams of rice to eat as well on top of everything, but it's so crazy. So yeah, my diet has stayed the same, like my base diet with oats and salmon in that full day of eating. But now we're just adding carbs all the carbs to keep me full if not i'll look flat so that's like the big diet update basically everything you think about a bikini competition it's like it feels like the opposite <laughs> just eating all the food but i feel so good so high vibe and yeah it's just such an interesting process because my last prep was nothing like like the complete opposite and that's why you can never do two diets the same or two people are the same like even past jade is different from current jade right so that's why you can't copy someone else's diet or copy someone else's lifestyle it's like you have to work with a coach who makes it tailored for you if that makes any sense at all so that's like the diet update basically rice every day in the next video i will show you what i'm doing like in a full day of eating style depending on what my coach has given me carb wise and yeah, training's been really good. Cardio is at 100 cows. And that's basically all the updates that I wanted to share in today's video and just like, yeah, bring you on this with me because I wanna look back at it in future preps and be like, oh, that's what I did this time. Whereas last time I was not doing this. <laughs> but yeah, what we're gonna do is gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna go get some rice as well because yeah, like I said, I've got 500 today. And um, yeah, I just feel so good. And I'm so grateful to be bringing you guys through this with me and just, Feel like i have your support on this and i hope you guys are enjoying the videos do let me know in the comments as well if you do want to see anything in particular I'm like a farmer, I'm outside Don't share locations, I'm on the grind I do my dance, hammer time One, two, two, step One, two, two, checks Long nights, I was cold I'm the one before the bag Money come and see the flow What I show is what I own Freeze, photos Please, no photos Different record, but it's relevant Show the L's like I show the win Look at me, I'm on 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 can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Okay, guys, just wrapped up my workout and also my clients for the day, which is so good. 
So what I'm going to do is now head home and get my post-workout and so I wanted to wrap today's video up here in the gym. So in the next video I want to show you a full day of eating just so close to my show because we are coming up to two weeks out so the next video will be one week out and then it goes into peak week. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed if you are not subscribed and you want to join me for peak week, which is when you peak your body for the show and also India vlogs and show day vlogs. So there's so much to come. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video and all the other videos of my channel. If you haven't checked them out, I would absolutely love if you did. It's been so good having you on this journey with me and I'm just super grateful. So wanted to say that and see you guys in the next video. But Bayou was laughing at me because I have the air con and I use the fan and he said in Indonesia they believe if you have too much wind you'll fart. <laughs> it's too early for this Bayou, it's 8 in the morning. <laughs>